These officers are lucky to be alive today, viewers and subscribers, in a St. Elizabeth. Gun boy, them beat up corn pan them. The center of the page, look upon the gunshot, the gunshot piercing there. See, it pierced the glass and thing. I tell you, the officer, they lucky, you know. The man said, men arrested, gun seized after cops fired on in New Market. Bag of things, they have to make a statement. If I know bag of things, TV, it don't make sense. A bag of things, TV, I run things all the time. <laughs> bag of things, TV, media. Yes, my viewers and my subscribers, card to a gleaner. We are getting to it right now. We now waste no time. The police have apprehended a group of men and recover illegal firearm after they allegedly fire at the cops in New Market, Saint Elizabeth, last evening. You know, jeez, Mister. Sometimes you hear the story when it says Saint Elizabeth, Westmoreland, and certain places in the area down so. We talk about the west coast or our north coast, north coast of Jamaica, seen. And to me, back in the days when you hear them story, I way up in a Kingston and some bad place you talk about. And it gone way down in the country area them now. See? A matter of fact, you can't even call anywhere country again in a Jamaica. You mad? When man have all like gun, the money access them and everything right now. Remember you know, when you say country one time it was like people now have access to certain things. And then we did them plant yam, cassava, dashina, everything and thing. But right now, Everywhere open me, I know. Man, everybody's carry biggest gun everywhere, right? I know. So, there's no more country viewers and subscribers. 14 cities, it look like to me. <laughs> How crazy. The massa during the confrontation, a bullet was fired into a police service vehicle, piercing the windscreen. You know, no injuries were reported. Thank you, Jesus. Swift response on a collaborative effort between the St. Elizabeth Police and the Westmoreland counterparts resulted in the capture of the men and the seizure of firearm. Ha ha ha! Boy, me I tell you, boy, it's serious. The police say investigations are ongoing. You know? when, you only tell me now, when them and money are going to jail, you know, saying? And you know, say them beat up car after a police, saying? All the water them in the jail for either and mash up their money. You, know? you beat up can't for the police almost take one of them life and come in the jail. Water for beat up them boy and man and, and throw shit bucket upon them. You see me I say, yes man, John wants to. All the judge now, more I know what the judge in Jamaica I go say. When you have money open fire upon you right now. See? Them your boy and no fear, they no care. A dangerous coat them ladies and gentlemen. Cheese and um, peace. Back in the days, I tell you, say, way back when, you know, them boy a car spray with car, you know. Me say, back in the days with the next police, them, me tell about the one time police, them, where everybody a come down, you know, man like all Adams. Me tell you, say, this a car that becomes trainer. Everybody in a car dead. But when I find out right now, in the come, I come down for the police, them, right now, so, me realize, say, police, them, make more arrests. But think about it now, if there's gonna be so many arrests, them have to create a better prison facility. I heard the other day them think, I think them said them go spend over 18 million or billion or something like that. I hope them build that facility real quick, you know. Because if them not in the slap we have a couple of them money where sometimes you know, if we bring in their money, you know. And for them money should not go in the jail and you know, go full up space and take over a place and name blood clay citizen. So hard working tax money. Not for them money if you make it real easier too. And they just take them out real quick. See? Right now, I read a story, I never did get to do the story the other day. When Mr. Fitz Bailey, the man who runs SeaTac, I first may ever hear him come out with something like this. And this goes to show that everybody share the same sentiment as Bugger Things Media TV and my viewers and my subscribers. Them. This man has said, boy, he believes that all of them boys have got jail and get life in prison. Mr. Fitz Bailey said that. SeaTac boss. What Mr. Tono? We are saying, yo, a life a boy them forget 30 years minimum. And for you see the sea top boss have to come out and say that you have to know say the sentiment is going all over. With voice and echo all over in Jamaica, you know. Saying everybody has said the same thing. So what am I gonna do now? Mr. Andrew Oldness, I forgot to finalize that bill when we hear him I talk about, you know. And now you know come back to me with the bill when I talk about him. I say, Ray Ray, I'm write you up and I'm fill it out all type of same thing. And it will pass in a parliament and we don't hear nothing more about that bill. We need to know what's going to go on with that bill, you know. We fire on bill we are talking about because that little shaky one I can't work right now, saying. This is one I outdated from 1901. 
You understand? It can't do nothing. America changed them bill as they go along. If you come up there and start pushing drugs and everything, the money come up with a bill and say, yeah, no, war against drugs. War against this and war against that. And the money will make sure say, you have to stop that in them country. Where Jamaica do. Jamaica big and a ball. Prime Minister ball. Big Prime Minister. When you should have sharp up your bill. And ready for limb up a couple of them boys with the bill. You know? Don't you think a joke thing. If I'm a Prime Minister, I'm a limb up them boys with the bill, money, gun bill. All oh, that the bill will come out, man. It's going to limb them up. Because it's going to dangerous. The phone with a gun rounds anything, you're in a big, big trouble. Because look what I go on now. Look what I go on in a St. James. Bloody Friday as St. James record. Three slap away in 24 hours, you know. Saying, I can't to observe of viewers and subscribers. Saying, man, to go be a St. James. St. James recorded three slap away in the space of 24 hours on Friday. Pushing its murder tally to 31. An average of over, over one killing per day, you know. The average of one somebody a drop on the ground every day in St. James. Since the start of the year, the parish is leading the police division across the island in homicides. So I hit a lead. Me telling about St. James, they always want to lead in the badness and the murder. You, know? you understand? It come like each parish a fight feet. No, you hear St. James going with this now. What, what you are going to clarify now? What you Spanish tone and say, what well, are they, boy, they are going like that, they want to lead. And they go kick up from us and now and two man head and two man head or bust off. A be things are going. We, we know what go on. See, remember black man himself did ask the statistics and I say, hold on, they come like a joke thing I go on. We have to turn up the murder rate more. I man them a compete over the murder rate, ladies and gentlemen. See? The paper goes on to say Friday bloodletting featured the gun plane of 22 year old laborer Randall Barnes, a motorist otherwise called Chicken of Mount Casey reports that about 8.30 a.m. Barnes was driving a motorcycle and Mount Casey or Kerry, sorry about Mount Kerry Road when he was peppered with bullets by unknown assailant. You know, he died instantly. John no star. So this place is called Mount Kerry. Mount Kerry Road, ladies and gentlemen. Barnes get wet up. Seeing wickedness, boy. But when it comes to Jamaica, you have to ask the question, was Barnes a good boy? Seeing a man who go work and go in church and do him thing and is a man who will in head straight or he involved in a scamming business and a bad man thing. That's the next question we have to ask you. you know? They must say Barnes death came after a man who shot and killed in downtown Montego Bay. You know? He has been identified as 41-year-old Miguel Robert Christie of Bottom Pen. You know? Bottom Plain Glen Devon address in the parish. According to the police, about 6.55 p.m., Christie was entering his car on Embassy Place when he was shot multiple times in the upper body. He was pronounced, you know. From the year that on the nose said done, they rushed him to the hospital. Doctor then plug up all person upon him. Nurse tomorrow run up and down, saying CNA, they want to do everything. They couldn't save him, boy. Saying, the man them gave him so much car and couldn't make it out. This is what's going on in St. James, you know. St. James are one of the most violent parishes you can see. And I'll tell you that some good, hard-working people come from St. James. Some of the most productive people in Jamaica. But I think say about 10% or 5% down there I cause the whole for arms house business, you know. And the whole for St. James people, them. Majority of St. James people, them, are the hard-working, nice people them you can come across. See? But I don't know. All the more get out like a small percentage of Nasi Nega where I mash up the whole parish. At that more I know. It's easy. The people of Jamaica now have to start relay information to the police. Stop all the back. Don't take support from a scam of them. And try to inveigle with them because of dirty Nasi Nega them. Everything will come right back upon them. Because when they make their money there, you know, the boy them all have money, money them and create bag of sitting, you know. And I go on like a, them are the top man in that place. So you don't know some man are going to lick out them head. No, they must say by afternoon, an unidentified man was stopped to death in the busy Montego Bay Transportation Center. Based on initial reports from the alleged eyewitness, the unidentified man was walking in the center when another man walked up to him and stabbed him several times. The wheel of the knife then ran from the scene, eluding transport officer or operators who attempted to apprehend him. He was wearing a long sleeve, red shirt, black pants, and a black pair of what appears to be Clark's shoes. You know, when I see what I say, 
Hold up a stab and give this a money to blow out plate. So they must say now the killing come a day after Security Minister Dr. Owen Chang had just concerned regarding the uptick of murder in the parish. You know. Hear what Mr. Chung has said? St. James is in a bad state now, Dr. Chung told the reporters of the Salt Spring Primary School safe passenger and over ceremony in St. James on Thursday afternoon. Hear what Dr. Chung has said now? Dr. Chung noted that despite special deployment of members of the security force, the bloodletting in the parish has continued to spike, which he cite as a trend that emerged in January. Yeah, man, a beard and sitting there going, boy. I hope it stops soon. I have to put a lid on this crime problem. Them and fix what Jamaica. Hopefully, we have to make it work. I got things See, media I'm TV, man. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe. Press that notification bell. The 